chance to interrupt the song to number one in G minor. Oh, what for that matter? <laughs> a free wish on a wishy machine? Yeah, sure. And I'm a freaking shock. What is it, Arma? Oh, wait! It's a fighting tournament! I thought those were forbidden nowadays. Do you know what that means? <laughs> yes, that's right! And if that wishing machine is real, perhaps... Hey, Mr. Jarepe, how's it going? Let me get straight to the point because time is short. I need a borrow mode of transportation. Something that flies preferably. That flies? What do you I need to get to the outside? Why would I want to? Because I'm in love now, I'm going to get married. Now give me a flying creature. In love? <laughs> Would the lucky girl be a human? I wonder. Just give me something to get out of here or I'll break that only arm of yours. I don't want any trouble with the pirate. There's a dragon in the second floor. I knew you'd cooperate, Jackie. You know you won't. I'll miss you too. Bye bye. You too. Be careful. He's an enemy. Anyone in the city is an enemy. Hmm. You don't look very human. Are you one? Eh. No. You're not human at all. Hey, don't worry. I won't bite. My teeth aren't even real. See? So, what's your name? This is Zuno. Well then, pleased to meet you, Mizuno. I don't think you should talk to him. Have you been following me in the last couple minutes? Smart boy. You know, Mizuno, it's not that easy to trust people, especially when you're in the middle of a competition. Before approaching you, I will make sure you weren't one of those nutcases that attack without reason. That's enough. We shouldn't engage in conversation. Why would you want to approach me? I'm trying to get more info about the oh-so-mysterious Law of Talos. You wouldn't by any chance know about it, would you? See, you're annoying me. I just wanted to help him. Eh? I mean, no. I thought so. You look just as confused as everyone. Why would you help him? Don't you remember what I said? He doesn't look hostile. Eh? <sighs> Sheesh. I'd kill with our violin right now. Do you have one? No, but perhaps I could build one. That's very nice of you. How did you learn to build violins? I've, I've read about it once. In some books. Do you like books? So is that why you're here? No, I... You shouldn't be talking about you. You shouldn't be talking to him at all. You know I don't like to be alone. A friend? Is that what you want? I can help you if you wish. It's easier to survive this whole tournament with someone by your side, that's for sure. Let's make a deal. Help us, and I'll help you get what you want. Dearie me, Arma, how could you do that? 
You devious bird. Would you look at that? I thought kids in water didn't come along very well. Achoo! You chose a very convenient place to meet me, didn't you? Haha, <laughs> yes, that's right. Hate me! There's no problem with that. We'll only draw you for <laughs> Boy, you fight like you're dying. Feeling it a little uneasy. my violin. Arma, wait. Let's have a break time now. Girl. Ah, yeah. Get down. 
Yeah, but you used nearly all the missiles. If you hadn't been distracted... Distracted? Since when was I distracted? Have you forgotten the magic trick already? <laughs> We're almost there. It looks sort of small compared to its original design. Indeed. But as soon as I manage to get more pieces, I'll upgrade it. Oh. So we gotta find another opponent. Well, essentially. Hmm. I'll go take a look around then. Hmm. I should upgrade Kiwi Bot too. I saw you! Show yourself! All right, you got me. Don't shoot, please. I'm an arm. I must keep an eye on that bird. Steffi, what's going on? I found a competitor. Are you sure? The rules are clear. Really wandering Little people... Human. Now, we battle. What, already? No acquaintances? No! No acquaintances! No cakes! Fight. Hey, come on, I work in an amusement park. I need to entertain you kids somehow. How about a match? Ta-da! Ah! Ah! You cheater! anything to stop him either. Uh, let's finish this and get his supplies before he tries to flee again. Hey, we just want your basic kit. If you give it to us, we could just take that as a defeat. Sorry, kids. I threw it away. You can't do that. Lies! You hit it. He... He ate his own finger? That's so disgusting. I'm so Eating is for humans. I'm simply storing a part of my body, so I won't lose it in battle. Also, listen, I rattle! That guy's insane. Uh, perhaps, but there's something wrong about him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying! No, not like that. I have a feeling he's just... pretending. Pretending what? To eat his finger? Everything. Yes, I'm fine. Just sure, me. Looks like the city is full of smart kids. Realizing I'm weak in a long-range combat was very clever of you. Oh, we didn't realize that, actually. Don't let them get too close! Hmm. Little girl. Oh snap! He doesn't rattle. I gotta fix it. Debbie, look out! Game over. Sacrificing himself selflessly for his little girlfriend, just like in the movies. Too bad it doesn't make much of a difference to me. One down, one to go. You monster! Oh, please, you make me blush. <laughs> My 
my collar. I'll use it to play the violin. We should make sure our opponents are unable to fight. Kicking me. It shouldn't be that fast. We made that same mistake again. How frustrating. Title made exclusively for non-competitors, or so I've heard. Right, they must have a phone there. I could call for help. Real help. Let's move it. It's dangerous for you to stay here. We're in a decadent, abandoned city. What could possibly happen? <laughs> Get to the city's limits. But isn't he? Uh... Hey, really? But wait a minute. Well, thank you for your cooperation. He could be your next opponent. I don't care. Returning you home is our first priority. You know, I could easily go by myself, Mr. Grumpy. Seriously, he. <laughs> okay, I have to admit that was intentional. Hello. I've lost the opportunity to finish my match this past afternoon. And it would be quite a shame if I lost this one as well. Skeptic about vampires, mythical creatures, living dead, talking statues. What a joke! Here in the first place. Come on, admit you're just here because you hate me. Because I try to kill you and your little friend. You're right. I hated you for what you did. But now, though, I pity you. 
I pity you for your despair. Look here, you can try to use hate to give your empty life a sense, but that will destroy you from within. You don't? Thank you for the kind words, friend. Too bad for you to say news. you. Let me ask you, vampire, for how long do you think she'll be your friend? As long as it's convenient. That's how humans are. And you're wasting your time and effort trying to help her when you could be free. Perhaps we should make a bet. What will destroy us first? My fights always end in catastrophic outbursts. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Huh? Turned out to be a weird night. Oh, sod this. Bugger if I'll stay here just to get troubled by some. Hello. Cool. My, it's good to finally see a living soul in the streets. Now, I apologize for the short introduction, but have you by any chance seen a pinked hand girl? I think she's accompanied by a boy, and possibly a woman. By any chance, I did. Who are you? And what the hell happened to your eye? What, this? Oh, I just fell down a bunch of stairs. Uh, you see, I have to talk to them without delay. But luckily, I haven't found anyone yet. I understand why! One by one, they ran away like rats and left me here with that stack of metal junk! Don't talk about their mech that way. It can be very useful, that's for sure. Are you a friend of theirs as well? Not as much, no. We share some needs, is all. So I assume you don't know where they went. Could you at least lead me to the people organizing the tournament? They probably have their ways to know everyone's location. You mean the old man? Yeah, I know where he lives, but I doubt the bloke's still there. Harrington Street. A few squares up here. Well, it's something. I may find something about Law Talos there. What? Haha, <laughs> never mind. Thank you very much for your help, little boy. Is there anything I can do for you in return? Hmm. Perhaps. Got a penny in your pocket? Oh, let me see. Ah, here. You can have it. Ah! <laughs> I should have known by now. There isn't a single common kid in the city. And I should have known you're just another mad murderous tourney fighter. Don't be so paranoid. My hand just slipped is all. Slip it somewhere far from my landing. Will you run away, little boy? How inappropriate. I'm on to being inappropriate and alive! That little girl didn't run away! And what do you think she lost? <laughs> I 
I like your trains of thought. Excellence. I think we had enough of the whole cat and mouse chase. Just out of curiosity, what is this obsession with killing and destroying? A thief killed my parents, and I've never recovered from the incident. But let's not lose focus, shall we? Right, so because of some horrible tragedy, you decided to go stone bonkers and kill everyone. But you don't think that gives you the right to kill me? I can't die here. I survive worse things than this. Nox, I had a day like this at least once per week. I've passed through orphanages, academies, the streets, a miserable working in an asylum that became some turny for no logical reason. I faced demons, fanatics, doctors, cancers, a climber, even zombie children. A climber? And now the same mishmash decided to wreck my city, the only home I've got. So that's why you don't want to die here? That's all right. I understand. What? Go die in New Jersey! Hey, you alright? Oh, you flatter me! I'm much better now, though. The events last night weren't exactly pleasant, but you know, Arma, the little boy's right. We can't die here. Not when we have a job to do. You can sense my energy sinking right now, can't you? Just watch, Castle. Once I get my wish, you're next. You were lucky I had my screwdriver with me. I could have fixed my leg by myself. Yeah, sure. Just like last time. Where's that boy? I told him to wait for us. Huh? That bastard! Steffi, where are you going now? Can you stop running around and... Huh? Huh? I have a feeling this has something to do with a certain chaos he mentioned. side, though. Things can't get much worse than this. Huh? Why, hello! 
Hello. I apologize if I'm interrupting something. And hello again, Aqua Boy. No hard feelings about our last meeting, right? You. So that's what the earthquakes were all about. Is this somehow your fault? We could debate how my actions and a giant creature emerging from the ground are related. Conversely, it would be more relevant to retire everyone from this place without further ado. Still wanting to run away? I do not deny my intentions of leaving the city. Nevertheless, we have children in there, and marriage witnesses can only witness something if they remain alive. I'd never want to spend my honeymoon in the city, anyways. <laughs> How rude! What's going on? Mizuno says this guy's a dangerous competitor. That would be conveniently unprecedented. Too convenient. Who are you, and why are you here? I was just passing by, and I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for those meddling kids and the robot. Robot? <laughs> Please give me back my arm. For you to kill us with? I just want to hug everybody. Can I have a hug? Stay away from me! So much for wanting everyone to be safe. Ah, allow me to highlight the latest news. There is a possibility that if we do not leave the surroundings at once, we will be scrambled and squashed within the buildings, thus suffering a painful death. What a way with words! Elderly women and children must proceed to the exit immediately. I'm positive you fine gentlemen understand our priorities. What? Are you kidding? Okay, next question. Do you really think I'd let you do that, Ginger? You'll be left alone with a robot and a cartoon villain. Not to mention, there's a robot army out there. Assuming that man is a competitor, having him travel with the rest of you could put everyone's life at risk. I exercised a possessed robot minutes ago, and you're talking about taking risks? <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt your first marriage couple fight, but by the looks of this mech, it hasn't taken great damage. It can transport everyone safely. I'm staying, Annie. And if you're going to try making up my mind by using some literature quote, remember we are not choosing only for ourselves presently. Something in D minor. Look, a pigeon. In there stepped the stately raven of the saintly days of yore. Though thy crest be shorn and shaven, thou art shorn and craven, ghastly, grim, and ancient raven, wandering from the nightly shore. Tell me what thy lordly name is on the night's Plutonian shore. Nevermore. That's figures. Wait. You are faster than your rusty steel in life. I like to witness. Another chase? Why, how repetitive! 
that is my husband. Should I come back to help them? Hello. Has anyone seen a pirate around here? for you to climb all the way. Oh. You can survive this, right? Wait, wait! told me you must return to the park immediately. I'm sorry. I can't go back now. Huh? I don't have a choice. You see, this is a fighting competition. I've met several people just to fight and defeat them all. And the energy of this city. You understand, don't you? I... That woman tried to kill me too. You, you liar! Oh, please, it's so last year. Die! 
Everyone, stay. No, not yet. It seems we'll have to skip the finale. Hmm? Ah, well. See you next time, Paul. No. No! You can't do that! I was so close! You can't do that again! You can't!